Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Biden condemns Putin a euro tyrannia euro. Russian troops land in Kharkiv, live. Summary of headline article. 631 as the president of Ukraine. Volodymyr Zelensky's defiance has made him a hero across the world. Guardian reporter Viv Groskop asks. Could his success as a politician lie in his years as an entertainer? He is a Russian speaker from the center of the country. But. Most of all. To Ukrainians. He was recognizable and he was funny. You know. The one where the geeky history teacher becomes the president overnight. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine crisis. Biden threatens to punish Putin over invasion. Summary of headline article. It was one of the few moments in the speech where members of both deeply polarized parties rose together to clap and cheer for Ukraine. Many of them waving Ukrainian flags that had been passed out before the president arrived. From the Guardian under the main headline of a Euro our fates are united a Euro. Syrians rally behind Ukraine after years of Russian torment. Summary of headline article. When a Russian air raid in northwestern Syria killed 34 Turkish troops. Ankara's revenge quickly followed. Russian President Vladimir Putin addresses his troops at the Himaimim air base in Syria. December 2017. Porcelain decorated with the images of Putin and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in a souvenir. Shop in Damascus. Syria in 2016. Much of Syria is too. Other Syrians spoke of the ease with which Russian propaganda is being shredded in Ukraine, and of hope their own agony would be viewed through a fresh prism. We lived under Russian bombs and lies for six years, said Marwan Issa, a villager from Homs, now in Idlib, from Mail Online under the main headline of Daily Mail comment. Cool heads are needed to avert a global war. Summary of headline article. Ukrainian women and children are in deep fear because of bombs and missiles which are going from the sky, she said. NATO is afraid of World War III. But it's already started. It would be easy for Mr. Johnson and his fellow leaders to be swept up in the emotion and fury of the moment. As Mr. Johnson said, a no-fly zone would involve NATO shooting down Russian planes, an act of all-out war against a nuclear power, led by an unpredictable dictator. The Generation Game Germany's decision to recommission three mothballed nuclear power plants signals a welcome recalibration of its approach to energy security. From the sun under the main headline of two teenagers, 15 and 18, shot it from passing car on residential street as cops launch hunt for gunmen. Summary of headline article. Two teenagers were shot at by a gunman in a car, with cops yet to make any arrests. After the police were called the road was sealed off for hours as a search commenced. A spokesman from West Midlands Police said. We're investigating after gunshots were fired towards two teenagers in Edwards Road, Erdington, yesterday afternoon, February 28. It's understood shots were fired from a vehicle towards a 15-year-old boy and 18-year-old man at around 4 p.m. and neither were injured. It comes after a horror shooting in Liverpool yesterday where a schoolgirl, 15 was wounded at a bus stop. From Mail Online under the main headline of No Jab. No Job, Rules Axed for Health Staff After Government U-Turn. Summary of headline article. Mandatory vaccination for health and social care workers will be scrapped in a fortnight following. A government U-Turn.
Ministers were accused of undermining public confidence after Health Secretary Sajid Javid told MPs in January that the no jab, no job policy was no longer proportionate. The decision follows a public consultation where 90% of responses supported the removal of the requirement for care staff. She added, Ministers must now urgently address the health and social care workforce crisis which is undermining nursing staff's ability to care safely for their patients. Mr. Javid said 92% of the NHS workforce and 95% of care home staff have received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. And 89% of home or domiciliary care staff have so far received at least one dose. From BBC under the main headline of Apple to halt sales and limit services in Russia. Summary of headline article. I've contacted it Tim underscore Cook. Apple's CEO. To block the Apple Store for citizens of the Russian Federation and to support the package of U.S. government sanctions. If you agree to have the president killer, then you will have to be satisfied with the only available site Russia24. pic.twitter.com slash b5dm78g2vs. From Mail Online under the main headline of Russian ships are banned from UK ports. Summary of headline article. Russian ships have been banned from UK ports. The Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office has announced the ban on Russian ships from UK ports and new economic sanctions against key Russian financial institutions including its central bank. In close coordination with our allies, will degrade Russia's economy and help make sure Putin loses. The ban on Russian ships came as it was announced a further £80 million in aid is being given to Ukraine from the UK. In these circumstances the Department for Transport does not consider it appropriate for Russian vessels to continue to enter UK ports. We will seek to support UK ports in identifying Russian ships within scope of the above and will communicate directly with relevant ports when we identify ships bound for UK ports who fall within scope of the above. From Mail Online under the main headline of Meet Brave British Soldiers Who Want to Take Up Arms for Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Dozens more Britons have vowed to fly out to help Ukrainians defend their country from the Russian invasion. Former Army sniper Shane Matthews is among those answering the call to arms from Ukraine's president, who urged foreign fighters to help protect his people, carrying 60 kilograms of donated medical supplies. Mr. Matthews will go to the front line to treat wounded Ukrainians, provide training for civilians and, if necessary, fight. Right is right and wrong is wrong. I know it's dangerous. People are trying to talk me out of it. But I believe I can make a difference. From The Guardian under the main headline of Private Healthcare Boom adds to fears of two-tier system in UK. Summary of headline article. Growing numbers of Britons are paying for private medical treatment in a shift that could undermine the NHS and create a two-tier health system. A report has warned, if a significant move away from public healthcare happens there will not be a sudden shift to an American-style health system. Instead, it might be comparable to dentistry in England, where poor NHS access for some, and superior but expensive access for many, has been gradually implemented and normalized since the 1950s, the report adds. Another 59% would wait for NHS care, because I cannot afford private health care, but only 10% would do so because they are opposed to private health care. In the survey of 3,466 adults, the field work for which was done in November 2021, 
YouGov found that 31% 1095 found it hard to access healthcare during the pandemic. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day and goodbye.